sad anniversary to mark this morning, 20 years since Columbine. Overnight, a vigil, family members, survivors, and first responders honoring the 12 students and one teacher killed in that massacre. And ABC's Clayton Sandell is right there in Littleton, Colorado, with a look at how the country has changed since the shooting that was really a dark milestone in American history. Clayton, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Dan. It is hard to believe it's been 20 years since the Columbine attack. It was not the first school shooting, but many here were hoping it would be the last. Today, the community is gathering to honor the lives taken too soon and focus on the work they say still needs to be done. At a vigil here overnight, they came to remember. 13 names, 12 students, and one teacher murdered 20 years ago today. Fellow or former students, it's believed, who rushed the schools and opened fire. Two fellow students planned and executed the horrific attack at Columbine High School, ushering in the modern era of deadly school shootings. Tom Mauser still wears the shoes his son Daniel had on the day he was killed. I, I really try not to think much about how old he'd be and what he'd be doing. To me, he's still 15. Columbine also became a rallying cry for copycats, according to an ABC News investigation believed to have inspired more than 50 attacks, plots, or threats since. We're not a tourist attraction, and we're not a place for you to come and gain inspiration. Just this week, the FBI says the 18-year-old Florida woman who bought a shotgun and was a threat to Colorado schools had a Columbine infatuation. Police say she committed suicide. We do have to think of, like, okay, I might die in my school. Which Columbine senior Anna Lamuse Paez wasn't even born in 1999, but the specter of school violence is something she and her friends have been forced to grow up with. The first day of class of a new school year, of a new semester, I'll walk in and I'll be like, okay, like, where are the exits? Like, where's the best place to hide? Like, if something happens. But there is also hope. Rachel Scott believed kindness and compassion could replace bullying and violence, a message her family spreads today in schools around the world. She wrote, these hands belong to Rachel Joy Scott and will someday touch millions of people's hearts. It has become a Columbine tradition to focus this anniversary on something positive. So today, many students and faculty will be completing hundreds of community service projects. That is followed by a memorial service planned for later this afternoon. Eva. All right, Clayton Sandell, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.